welcome back to another video in this tutorial we will determine the phase sequence of a three phase source the, the phase sequence of a three phase source is the time order in which its three line voltage exceeds each other that is the order in which they attain their maximum values a knowledge of phase sequence is important when other three phase lines are to be connected in parallel or when the direction of rotation of a large motor must be known in advance. Phase sequence is also important in many applications like three phase metering devices such as sequence relays, warm meters, etc. If the phase sequence is not checked, the reading must be quite different from what they should be. So in this tutorial, we will determine this using MATLAB symboling. So this is the circuit for determining the phase sequence of a three phase source. This line will show the phase sequence or this display will determine if the sequence is positive or negative. If the display is green, it will show the positive sequence. If the display is red, then it will show the negative sequence. So what the parameters we are having, we have three phase lines that is AC voltage and I kept at voltage peak voltage 320 volt and the frequency is 60 and the phase for the first line is zero. Similarly, the second AC is 326 peak voltage 120 phase angle and the frequency is 60. For the third line, the peak voltage is 326 volts and the phase is 240 degree and the frequency is 50, right? This is the VI measurement block and it will measure phase to ground voltage. This is the asynchronous machine and its parameter as the type of rotor is squirrel gauge and the squirrel gauge preset model is the first one, right? And the input is mechanical torque and the reference frame is rotor. You can keep the other parameters by default. This is the input torque which is at time 0, initial value is 0 and at final value it's 1 after time 0. This is the bus selector which I will just measure the mechanical rotor speed. This is a display that will measure the rotor speed. This is the comparator block that will compare the rotor output speed with 0. If it is zero or less than zero it will generate one otherwise it will generate zero this is the boolean lamp and it is connected to the output of this phase sequence detector or this boolean expression if it is one it will say that the phase sequence is positive if it is zero it will say that the phase sequence is negative so let's run this for time two As it is seen that it is green so my time is or my phase sequence is positive let for example change the, the phase angle of my input source I will keep it 240 and I will keep it 120 and just run this again so as this is negative so the phase sequences in this case is negative you can also check the mechanical torque output if it is negative this is how it will act like and it is how it will generate the output uh, mechanical speed and if it is positive let's see the output waveform i check i change the phase difference of each source and it become a green so the uh, green is for positive sequence let's double click on the scope and you as you can see that at the start the speed is very high and it has become slow at the end of some time so this was a very short tutorial that how you will determine the phase sequence of a three phase line so how you will connect this lamp go to the library browser and check for search for lamp this this is the lamp drag and drop here double click on this and you can add the states so for example for zero state its color is green in this case but you can change i made it red and for one i made it green right 
click OK. Click on this connect, double click on this connect and connect wherever you want. I connected this. For example, I want to connect it at this point. So I click there and just connect it. So your connection is done. Just run this. It will show you output according to what the condition is occurring at that point, right? So thank you so much. Please make sure to subscribe my channel and take care. Bye bye.